This video is going to walk you through how to compare mixed numbers to improper fractions. A mixed number is simply a fraction that includes a whole number plus a proper fraction portion. An improper fraction is a fraction that has a numerator that is larger than the denominator. Both of them say the same things, just said differently. So what we're going to do when you compare them is we're going to convert them to the same format. So let's look at these four examples here. The first two we're going to convert to an improper fraction. The second two we're going to convert to a mixed number. Let's jump into the first one. What is three and a half compared to eight thirds? Which one is bigger? Well, we got to get three and a half into the same format as eight thirds, right? So let's do that by multiplying three times two, and that is six plus one is seven. So seven halves is our fraction. And over here is eight thirds. So by using a concept called cross multiplication, we can figure out which one is larger by multiplying the numerator of this fraction times the denominator of this fraction and vice versa. So let's multiply seven times three and we get 21. You always put the result next to the numerator that you're multiplying by. We multiply again two times eight and we get 16. So if we look at the results of these 21 versus 16, we know that 21 is larger, which means three and a half is larger than eight thirds. Next example, let's compare four and three fourths to 18 fourths. So four times four is going to be 16 plus three is going to be 19. So 19 fourths is our improper fraction versus 18 fourths. Well, right off the bat here, you can see the denominators are the same. So the easiest way to compare is just see which one has the larger numerator. 19 is larger than 18. So four and three fourths is larger than 18 fourths. All right, next example is six and three fifths compared to 62 tenths. So what we have to do here is we're going to convert 62 tenths into a mixed number. And we do that by dividing the denominator into the numerator. So 10 goes into 62 six times, 10 times six is 60, and you got two left over. So you put those two tenths off to the side here. Well, you got a six whole number here and a six whole number here. So there's no need to evaluate which one of those is bigger. You just focus on the proper fraction portion, right? So let's put our fractions of three fifths and two tenths over here. I'm gonna change my color up and we're gonna cross multiply. Three times 10 is 30. Five times two is 10. 30 is greater than 10. So six and three fifths is greater than 62 tenths. Last one, two and five twelfths compared to 17 over six. So first step is we're going to convert two and five twelfths to an improper fraction. No, we're going to do 17 over six into a mixed number. That's right. So six goes into 17, a total of how many times? It's going to go two times and six times two is 12 minus a 17 leaves five sixth left. So we get two and five twelfths and two and five sixths. So if we write five twelfths over here and five sixths over here, we can cross multiply and we have five times six is 30. 12 times five is 60. 30 is less than 60. So two and five twelfths is less than 17 over six. So hopefully you, that was easy to follow. And so what I've done is I've left one more example down here that I want you to try on your own. Five and a half compared to 40 over seven. You can convert it to a mixed number. You can convert to an improper fraction, whichever way you want, but leave your answer in the comments. Good luck. If you want to see more math help videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and check out my website at improvemath.com to download your free printable worksheet. Thanks for watching.